Have you seen those videos of the kids who look like they're throwing up signs, but they're actually doing mental maths faster than a calculator? I wanna do that, because it turns out they're not super-powered alien kids. It's a real technique called the mental abacus. Mental abacus is notoriously difficult to learn for adults and teenagers. A technique that's considered borderline impossible for any brain except a child's. Experts all started when they were kids. But in this video, I'm going to learn it, teach you, then try to do a string of these calculations in my head faster than a calculator. And if I can pull that off, all I want from you is to subscribe. Deal? In my quest for this seemingly magical technique, I found a few other neat tricks along the way that I'll share with you. You might have already seen this first one. It's how to multiply any two digit number by 11. Simply split the digits up add them together and drop that sum in the middle. So for 53 times 11, you split up the five and the three, drop eight in the middle, and you get 583. If the sum is larger than 10, just carry the one onto the first digit. So for 56 times 11, five plus six is 11, so carry the one and make the first digit six, keep the one in the middle, and the answer is 616. You can check all these with your own calc if you don't believe me, by the way. The next one is for two different two digit numbers that have the same first digit and the second digits add up to 10. So you could use this on 27 and 23, 34 and 36, 86 and 84, etc. Just take the first digit and multiply it by itself plus one. So for 27 and 23, take two and times it by three. That number goes at the front. Then multiply the last digits together, and that goes at the end. So the answer is 621. Now these tricks are cool and all, but the conditions are so specific. I want something more flexible that I can use anywhere, which is when I came across this trick for adding bigger numbers quickly. Basically, you split the numbers into easier chunks. So instead of brute forcing 156 plus 123, you do 156 plus 100 equals 256, then you add 23 to get 279. This is great for mental calculation, but it's slow nowhere near calculator speed. So these super genius kids must be doing something else. But at this point, I had no idea what it was. Now, as you guys know, I love learning new things and doing that has become so much simpler with today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is the best platform to master new creative skills and hobbies. They have lessons taught by industry leading pros like illustrators, musicians, filmmakers, and successful entrepreneurs, people who do this stuff for a living. Skillshare recommended this class to me, Everyone Can Jump, which is a productivity slash time management method. Now, I don't know how Skillshare knew I needed this desperately, and honestly, neither did I until I did the class. All I know is I'm glad it did because it taught me the most effective productivity technique I've seen yet. I've been using this method now to focus on not just my work, but all the things I learned for my videos as well. Trust me, if you suck at focusing on your work for long periods, you need to take this class. So whether you want to reignite your creative juices, start a business, or just avoid brain rot, join Skillshare. And even better, I've scored an offer for you guys. The first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. And that's when I found it. Abacus finger method, which as I soon find out is the step before the mental abacus. Essentially, you use your hands and your fingers like you would an abacus. And if you don't know what that is, an abacus is a centuries old calculator. This is what they were using way before phones or computers existed. There are different types, but this one is the Japanese Soroban. Each vertical column is a digit. This one represents your ones, this one tens, this one hundreds, and so on. The other side is the decimal places, but we aren't touching them today. Within each column, you have these four earth beads and one heaven bead. And the placement of these represents a number. When you move an earth bead up, it adds one. And when you move a heaven bead down, it adds five. So this would be three, this would be eight, and this would be five. In the tens column, each earth bead adds 10, and the heaven bead adds 50. For example, 42, 67. Now for the fun part. You can do all of that without the physical abacus just by using your fingers. Start with your fists closed. Your right hand is the ones and your left hand is the tens. Each finger, not thumbs, is like the earth beads and adds one. Each thumb is like the heaven beads and adds five. So counting up would look like one, two, three, four. Reset fingers add thumb, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
then it's the same on your left hand, but everything is worth 10 times more. One finger is 10, 20, thumb is 50, etc. So you can literally hold a number on your hands and your brain doesn't have to juggle it. For example, what number is this? And this means you can simply calculate by counting without putting your mind under much strain. Let's do 36 plus 23. Three on the left hand, six on the right. Add 20 and three, and that's 59. ChatGPT, give me two random two digit numbers. Absolutely, let's roll the dice again. This time, let's go with 56 and 91. Hmm? See, the drawback to this method is unless you've got an extra hand that I don't know about, it caps out at 99. Also, this still can't be what they're doing in the videos. They flick their fingers up and down so quick, there's just no way they're counting on a finger abacus. Which is when I finally connected the dots. It's not the finger abacus. It's the mental abacus. Mental abacus is notoriously difficult to learn for adults and teenagers. A technique so advanced that there's a reason all the videos are kids performing it. The experts all started when they were kids. Because for a more developed brain, learning the system is considered borderline impossible. And I know super smart adults who have tried. But that's never stopped me. The trick itself is actually really simple. It's in the name. You use an abacus, but mentally. You visualize the abacus and you move the beads in your mind, adding and subtracting, just like you would on a real one. The kids you see flicking their hands, they're pretending to move the beads because the physical motion makes the mental picture easier to control. The hard part is not the idea, it's keeping that image stable in your head and updating it at the insane speed that they do. And the only way to get there is to become so familiar with the abacus itself that you don't need it anymore. So I guess I'm just gonna do a bunch of maths on this thing for the next week and see where it gets me. One week later. I'm gonna do addition and subtraction, one second, and 20 numbers. Okay, locking in. I think it's 15. No way. That's crazy. There, there's levels to this man. Like, number one, 200 numbers at 0 0.4 seconds. Not gonna lie, at that speed, I think I just started calculating it in my head about halfway through, but hey, I still got it right, so you owe me the subscribe. Now, I've got a long way to go to match the speed of those kids, but for one week, I think I crushed that. If I could commit to longer challenges, I could probably make it way more impressive, but I still work a full-time job and don't have a lot of time. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to subscribe. Big thanks to Skillshare for supporting the video, and don't forget to sign up with my link for a free trial. It's in the description and the pinned comment. Now, if visualizing an abacus seems impossible to you, I actually have a video on drills to improve your memory, which helps with visualization as well. I ended up having to visualize an entire chessboard to play blindfolded, so those drills would be the perfect introduction to the mental abacus. Check out that video here.